Hi, Larry Lewis with Shipwell, and today I'm going to take you through a quick high-level overview of the TMS itself. My goal in this uh, functional demo is really to touch on some of the you know tops of the waves and then provide you with the um, data and some recorded videos that would allow you to then really consume at more of, de of a depth in terms of what's available within each of these different sections um, through a video tutorial. I've broken it down into each of these different sections. As you drill into each of these sections, we'll provide you with an opportunity really to, to learn a little bit about it. And then also, again, that opportunity to discover a much deeper set of functionality that's available inside the TMS. From a shipments dashboard perspective, uh, a couple of things that really come to mind. One is that it's configurable at the individual user level, so you can create your own personal view of the world. Everything is access or role-based control, so we can set up permissions to define which users have uh, which privileges within the TMS. Once those users are provisioned inside the TMS, this is really the beauty where they can go in and create their own personal view of the world. This also includes all of the column management as well, so you can manage and define which uh, columns are available or turned on or turned off and I've already gone into my TMS and I've created some different searches for myself again I could see everything in my network across all the different organizations I can view that based on things that are arriving today or departing in the next three days or based on a status <clears throat> and I can also drill into each of these individual locations to see shipments that are related to it. Now I've gone in and I've defined these columns. I've de I've decided what was turned on or turned off. Custom data fields can be included as part of the column headers so you can search and sort on that data as well. And again what's really nice here is that once I've created my search it's going to return back all the information I need related to this. So where are we picking up? Where are we delivering to? Bill of lading details. I've even included things like uh, the financials so provider carrier costs what I'm marking up or marking down to my customers and what's my profitability so in this case here I've missed including the cost to my consumer or to my co uh, customer I could quickly drill into the shipment details all my reference information on the left actions that are available to me on the right and here under financials I can now very quickly go in here and capture the customer cost and we quoted the, co the customer 1750. I can save those details and now returning back to the shipments dashboard, I can see the information has also been updated here for me as well. Now we're making $500 on that particular shipment. And again, what's really nice is that really across all the different users or organizations within the uh, Johnson Health Tech family, all of them can have their own different view of the world, including folks outside the United States. So folks like um, those that are operating out of the Netherlands, being able to drill in, see information, push things to a load board, and again, to drill in, see all the details that are related to it. So where are we picking up? Where are we delivering to? What are the items that are being delivered? The ability to track those and also to see the financial information, which can be included as both US or Euros. So the ability to define uh, your currency or your currency of record at the shipment level as well. And again, I can you know drill into any of these and see the information, see the details related to it. I could also think about it in terms of being able to manage claims. So being able to have a claims management component associated with it. And again, from a claims management perspective, the ability to also view all of that onto a dashboard. So being able to very quickly drill into all the information, all the details that are related to that. Um, right from here, from either the, the dashboard itself, drilling into the individual shipment or being able to view it holistically. I could also sort and filter things again based on a status so things that are quoting things are out on a load board or at auction or maybe I'm looking at my inbound containers and this is where I can gain full visibility to uh, containers coming inbound including uh, being able to capture you know the container arrival date release date last free date um, container return so when we return the container to the terminal the full container life cycle I can track all of that I could also look or view things about the shipment as well things like vessel name journey uh, the IMO information all of that can be put forth and again from a <clears throat> container visibility perspective I've got my terminal schedule with all the details where I'm picking up where I'm delivering to and in Inside the timeline, which by the way is ubiquitous across parcel, LTL, full truckload, um, all of the tracking 
updates fall, uh, will flow into this tracking uh, tab for you here. And from an ocean visibility perspective, everything from the empty container being outgated to the full container being in-gated, um, any trans uh, shipment terminals that may uh, be part of that particular router captured, uh, dots on a map, full visibility to see all the information and all the details. Also lets me know when it's arriving at port, so estimated time of arrival, and then also information about the discharge so when it was birthed when the container was discharged when it's available for me and then other um, shipment status details that may be relevant to me as well like customs hold customs release and again if you think about the ease of this it's all right here inside my shipments dashboard I can come in here and set a default view for myself I can manage all these different locations and very quickly drill into any of those and again defined at the individual user level so there may be other column headers that I want to turn on or turn off and what's really nice is I can simply drag these column headers from left to right so I can position it and by the way once I've done that um, I could also come in here if I wanted to and just pull information down I can download all the shipment details uh, from the dashboard as well okay so I'm gonna move on and talk a little bit about the order consolidation so order consolidation means i have the opportunity to pull orders into the tms i can multi-select those and then i can come in and i could do things like uh, create a quote or consolidate these manually and build it into a shipment or build those into one-to-one -one shipments and I can also do optimization. Optimization allows me to um, select a profile. I could then optimize against that profile and it's going to return back the results for me in the form of a load plan. So I kicked off an optimization job. I had 34 orders in the optimization job. I'd gone in and filtered my shipments down. I was able to go in, consolidate in this case six orders one pick one drop it created the shipment for me as part of the shipment autom automation I could also have it uh, automatically apply a routing guide so my primary secondary or tertiary carrier on a link and automatically be applied and again maybe these are opportunities for multi pick or multi drop the TMS will find opportunities to provide that level of consolidation and then what's really nice is that from a planner's perspective I would always have the opportunity to drill in see the shipment details all the information that's related to it as well and keep in mind whether we're using route guides to um, dispatch out to the carriers or if we're doing direct tender to the carriers one of the things that we have here is the ability to view carrier performance when we're uh, creating the shipment out to them we can also bring this in from contract rate management and all of that can be used to make the determination when to select in the appropriate carrier all right, so that's the shipments dashboard. A lot that you can do. It really serves as a single pane of glass. Uh, it's a smart, centralized way of viewing, managing all of your shipments. Now, in terms of shipments and exceptions that may occur inside the network, we have a visibility platform we refer to as Compass. Compass is really defined as a variety of these tiles that are available here at the top. You can drill in and see the shipment details. You can see the dots on the, <clears throat> on the map for all of these. I could drill all the way down into the individual shipment card details. From here, I can action against that particular shipment. So whether this is things like de uh, detention, demurrage, or uh, late pickups, easy for me to update and status folks about it, easy for me to view all the details, and again, I have the ability right from here to drill into the individual shipment details. We also have traffic and weather that overlays onto the maps. Traffic and weather is also part of the AI uh, machine learning in the background for predictive ETAs. And again, this is a module that or a section inside the TMS that's defined based on roles and permissions. I can cl click in, view all the information here. Again, shipments that are in detention, the ability to now assign that to a user, prioritize that driver, get them loaded, get them unloaded. All of that can happen very quickly and very easily. Now, of course, for me, when I think about the ability to have all of this visibility, wrap it all into one place, I think of it in terms of all the benefits that it drives for me um, within the organization.
Now, there's also things like settlement, so the ability to settle all of your uh, carrier liabilities or invoices. We have the TMS really serving as the system of record. We know at the time of audit what the expected amount is for that shipment. We wait for the carrier to invoice us. We compare that to the expected amount. If it's within a defined tolerance, we push it through for payment. If it's outside of those defined tolerances, then we'll flag it as an exception and then allow someone to resolve the exception. And again, it's a menu item here. It's available for me at the top. I can drill in to see all the details. These are examples of shipments that have an exception that's associated with it. What's really nice is we really do a good job of, of highlighting not only that there's an exception, but what the exception is. Is it a missing document? Is it a missing status or event? Is it a misalignment in terms of what the expected to the actual invoice was? We'll pull all those details forward for you and highlight that. To me, this is really putting the needle on top of the haystack for you. And again, first pass match really designed around operational efficiency. So all of these came through, they match, they're within my defined tolerance. It has the appropriate statuses, the shipment level statuses, and it also has the appropriate defined document. So that can include things like my bill of lading or my POD, etc. We can uh, set that up and define that. Uh, I also have a view of all the shipments that have been delivered but were pending payment. Keep in mind, auto match really is defined around having a carrier invoice, but we can also set up a auto invoice. So if your carrier doesn't invoice you, we can still create the invoice on behalf of the carrier and remit that back for payment as well. And then ability to search across all of the invoices within the platform. So. If there's ever a question that you wanted to go find or look up and what's nice is that when you drill in it takes you right to the invoice section with all the details all the documents and again documents can include the invoice the bill of lading proof of delivery and i've really distilled that down from the other documents that are associated with this particular load so in this case there's other docs that were associated with it but we've left really a refined view from a payment and resolution perspective inside of settlement. Okay, so that's the settlement. We've touched on the uh, shipments. We've talked a little bit about consolidation. We talked about visibility through Compass, settlement. We um, also have a rich set of reports and analytics that are available to you inside the TMS. And when I think about reports and analytics, couple of things that really come to mind for me is how do we break those down and how do we distinguish it and we think about it categorically so descriptive analytics predictive analytics diagnostic analytics and also prescriptive analytics all the things that you would come to expect from a TMS things like your average cost per pound average cost per mile uh, carrier performance carrier analytics all of that um, nested inside of the TMS under analytics and again maybe this is my shipping overview month over month month and in this case for the last six months I can see all the details information around my top 20 lanes the statistics associated with that which includes my average cost per shipment my average weight per package my average cost per package average miles per shipment all the details are there and available for me and of course I may want to pull that down drop it into an Excel spreadsheet maybe I'm working on a report and I just want to pull down one of these I can come in here and just grab one of these tiles and put that into a report but of course I can also set this up as a scheduled delivery so that on the beginning of of every month I send out the monthly overview that has all the details I can define who I'm sending that to in terms of my recipients I could also define the file format and I can also include a nice little message to let them know that this is the monthly shipping overview and if they have any questions that they could always reach out to me so all of that's here and available and again on the right hand side I've got a little folder a little slider that I can open up all of my reports, again, things like my claims, claims management that I'm managing, uh, maybe invoice exception or cost allocation reports. Maybe it's a group of us in, within the organization and we're re reviewing all of those. Think about it from a multi organizational hierarchical view, being able to see all the information that might be a select few within the organization that have that group view or maybe we're sharing reports across the entire organization and again being able to drill in and see things like carrier performance 
and carrier performance is a great report it's an aggregate across all of our carriers it's across our um, entire network I can view in and see all the details what's our on-time pick on time delivery percentage by mode our on-time running performance shipment breakdown by mode where we're picking up and where we're delivering to and what are the key metrics around those from you know the on-time percentage average dwell time track shipments percentage of shipments tracked full breakdown all the details and of course all of my individual carriers here as well now keep in mind that we also can manage the carriers inside the TMS and at each of your individual carriers we can also go in and set up carrier compliance reports uh, those carrier compliance reports can be sent out again on a defined case. so this would be an example of an individual carrier scorecard and again we can schedule this we can download this we can make it available for a report uh, but again, the individual carriers on time pick and on time delivery performance, shipments by mode, breakdown, uh, automation. And again, really that's sort of the overview of the TMS. There's one other thing that I just wanted to jump in and show you. And that was just around some of the pricing intel, the ability to pull in rates from DAT, to be able to view those, compare those, look at an individual lane, to see lanes, and also to use this same data um, when going out to the spot market to be able to make intelligent buying decisions. Um, um, from a spot market um, auction perspective as well. All right, I wanted to really try and keep this uh, short and sweet, so thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Um, as I mentioned, this data, this set of this deck that has all these different data sets in here, also have an accompanying video that go into a little more depth and detail around each of these. So I encourage you to take some time um, at your leisure to drill into each of these. Thank you so much. I think we've covered a lot. There's a lot left to cover, but appreciate your time. Thank you so much.